Good morning, everybody. Today, we are at Pompano Beach in Pompano Beach, Florida. That is the Pompano Beach Pier right there. And we're just on a boat trying to find the coral reefs to drop on some cool coral reef species. So that's the game plan. We're just going to be using, what is it, a ultralight rod with some size eight hooks on it, amber deans, shrimp, and bait. And just going to see what we pull up. So let's get started. I was thinking about changing spots, but uh, we just got hammered on this rod. Let's see what it is. Oh no. Oh, oh, it's double. Okay, pull one. No, it's a single. What is that? Oh, is this a grass party? Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, yo, that's, oh, that is so freaking cool. I was like, man, there's nothing here on this rubble bottom. I'm gonna move over to the coral reef over there. We got ourselves a freaking grass party. New species in 10 minutes. Hopefully I don't get seasick so we can catch more species. All right, well, there is our absolutely cool-looking grass porgy. Let's think it's a grass porgy. If I remember right, there's two species that look just like this here. I'm not sure how to tell them apart, but I do believe this is a grass porgy. Just caught on this rubble bottom down there. Rubble, half rubble, half sand. That is so neat. <laughs> wow, species number 273, I think, for the life list. I'm not entirely sure. I've completely lost track at this point in the trip, so yeah. <laughs> so cool. Make sure you get a lot of pictures of everything of it so I can ID it. Oh, there's a blimp over there. So after I was releasing that fish, I was just getting everything like reorganized, threw it back out there, and something straight up cut me off. Bro, what the- It bit the bait off while my rod was sitting there. So uh, yeah, I think we're on the money, Whatever, wherever this is. It, I'm good with it for now. Oh, there we go, there's something. Whew, let's take a mine. My goodness, what is this? See, it's shimmering down there. Oh my gosh, is it another grass porgy? It is another grass porgy, okay. Well, it's absolutely epic, but um, I really hope these don't get old. I was just thinking to myself, the last video is like, oh my gosh, a pork fish, it's so cool. And then they got old. <laughs> they are really testing my patience with these. So cool. Or whatever that other species is, I don't know exactly what this is. I think it's a grass porgy though. Go back. Go back to porg in the grass. Careful. Careful. Oh, you can see it go all the way down. That's so cool. All right, got something on again. Cast it towards. Oh no, it's gone. Darn. Oh no, it it, it bit me off. Yeah clean through so it must have been something toothy which is exciting uh, limestone in the anchor there we go we're gonna head over to that buoy over there and see what that buoy is about maybe it marks the edge of the reef be like the actual reef so try that all right here we are at the buoy saw a bunch of really shallow coral over there like big staghorn corals which is pretty darn neat I'm guessing this marks the edge of the reef. Everything's kind of getting a little bit deeper and dispersed. It's a nice rope to tie off to though. Okay, there we go. My reel's all messed up. Darn it. There we go, now we're good, now we're good. Now what the heck is going on here? I think we're good now. Something coming up. Hey, -o. what is this? Big old blue striped grunt, <laughs> or no, white grunt. So there's our white grunt. Tell us not a blue stripe because the stripes are only on its face, but that's pretty neat. Come back. <laughs> Second species. All right, now we're anchored up to this buoy. I have a little bit of confidence in the spot. We're gonna see what happens. Ooh, got some. Ah, oh, came off. Dude, there's some big fish down there. I can see them all, jeez. Oh, Oh, I see some tangs. Ooh, I want to catch a tang. I really want to catch. Is that a flounder? No way. Ooh. Bait. <laughs> Let's drop it right next to the boat here. Darn it. Dude, this is so much fun. I can see him down there. Let's see if we can catch one. 
Got, got, got something. Got something. Oh, it's so pretty. What is it? Oh, parrotfish. Parrotfish. I got a parrotfish. That is a freaking parrotfish. Yo, it's so red and blue and turquoise and everything. Oh my gosh. All right, well, there is our absolute chunk of a parrotfish. I got really nervous for a second because I thought the hook wasn't in the mouth. But as you can see there, the hook is just barely underneath the lip. Just barely underneath the lip. So that counts. That counts all day. <laughs> Such a cool fish. So colorful. You can like see them all down there too. I don't know how well you can see them about the sunglasses. Oh, pretty good. But that is so cool. No idea what species it is. Definitely a new species though. I have not ever caught a parrotfish in my life. So that is so cool. Just off this little buoy here. Oh, goodbye, Mr. Parrotfish. <laughs> all the way back down. All right, let's see if these see each other. Oh, filefish, filefish. Oh, I just pulled out of its mouth. Yo. Filefish eating the bait? Filefish ate the bait. Dude, there's a filefish down there. It's so cool. Dude, this is so much fun. I can see, I can see so many fish down there. I see a bunch of sea chubs. I see a spot tail pin fish. I saw a filefish earlier. I saw a big blue parrot fish pass by. Oh, there's, oh, there's a file fish. I see the file fish. Oh, it's, it's nipping at it. It's nipping at it. Got it. Got it. All right, just had to make sure I was recording. I just had to make sure. <laughs> there it is. It's coming up right now. Oh. Yo. Flip. Uh, yep. <laughs> oh, file fish. Oh, it's so pretty. It's a scrawled file fish. Yo. Dude, it was so aggressive going for the bait down there too. Ooh, can I touch it? I heard that these are poisonous to touch, or venomous. No, poisonous. All right, well, there's our scrawled file fish. I, I'm fairly certain. Tell us not a trigger fish because it's got that one tall spine, whereas triggers have two or three pretty thick spines, and one of them is the trigger that pulls all the other spines down. But that is, that is an awesome fish, bro. Oh, it's like it has a bone extending all the way along the bottom to the bottom here. Then this part is soft. Its belly is really soft, but there's like a bone on the bottom. That is so cool. All right, let him go. Tiny mouth. I don't know if that hook's even in there pretty good. Bro, such a cool fish. Ah! Woo, there it goes. <laughs> he is ready. Okay, I got the sergeant major. We're just going to get this fish out of the way. There we go. Sergeant Major. Abadiftuf Saxatilis. Another very colorful fish, like most of our fish today have been. This one, exceedingly more common. Yeah. Very common species. Surprisingly, there's only one down there. Usually they go around in schools. We're just gonna toss, oh, I want to toss them somewhere else. Hopefully it'll be smart enough not to eat this hook again. These chubs are so finicky, bro. Oh, got one. Got a tiny one, geez. Still a sea chub nonetheless. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, now is this a yellow sea chub or a Bermuda sea chub or an Atlantic sea chub? I guess we'll just have to wait for it to calm down so we can find out. So there's our, I'm thinking yellow sea chub maybe. I already have the Bermuda sea chub, which is Secatrix and Atlanticus. But uh, the way they tell them apart, one very easy way is the head. Apparently in the Bermuda sea chub, the head, like it's very big brain and like it's got a big bump on it. Whereas the yellow sea chub is a smooth brain and doesn't really have that bump. But uh, a more accurate way I've heard is you just count the, the anal rays and the dorsal rays. So see if I can get it to splay those out here quickly. Yeah, it's probably good enough, yeah. I'm sure I can get a good screenshot out of that somewhere. All right, back you go. Ooh, got someone. What is this? Fighting pretty good. Bam. Oh, another white grunt, of course. There must be a ton of white grunts sitting at the bottom. White grunt, going back. No, no. Big sea chub. Looking at my bait. Ooh, got one. That's a big one. Oh, it spit it. Darn. Oh, 
Oh yeah, those are flying fish. I need that species. Oh, oh, I got another file fish. This might be a different species. Holy cow. Oh no, it's just a scrawled, I think. Bigger scrawled though, look at that. It's actually kind of hard to bring to the surface. Hello, Mr. File Fish. Big boy. Now that is a decent sized file fish right there. It's got a full belly of Diabetes. something too. Yeah, that is neat. Well, there's our ginormous file fish. Let's see how long it is, I guess. One, two, oh, 18, 19 inches. That's cool. Goodbye. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Y'all know this channel is about those underwater eats. So uh, that's what we're gonna try and do now. We're gonna try and get this underwater eat here on a file fish. All these chubs. Oh, there it is. There it is right there. Yo, that's so cool. That's so cool though. Another underwater eat. something way down near the bottom oh it's a white grunt dude there's so many white grunts down there well so it seems the bluehead chubs of the ocean yesterday were slippery dicks <laughs> and today they're yellow sea chub or bermuda sea chub or atlantic sea chub i don't know It's so hard to get baits passed down them. Oh wait, so a new species of the day. What do you know about that? <clears throat> Woo! All right, so we caught a bunch of these yesterday, but um, they could have all been the same species. This could be a different species, I don't know. That's why we're gonna take plenty of photos of the molars of this, either a spot tail pinfish or a silver porgy. I don't know, very shiny. All right, think I got enough photos. It's going back. Dude, so many big chalky fish out here. Oh, so much fun with an ultralight. Now this one does have a lot of yellow on it. So I think this one is definitely a yellow sea chub. Make sure to get a, what was that? Make sure to definitely get a photo of this fish. Oh, that blimp, that blimp is going down. <laughs> Dude, it's getting low. <laughs> that, that blimp was like diving into the city, like nose first. Uh, I hope they're okay. Okay, definitely, probably a yellow sea chub going back. <laughs> I love that sound. Hopefully that blimp didn't crash into the city. That was kind of, that was kind of intense, the angle is going in at. You know, I honestly feel surprisingly safe here next to this buoy because I know one will run their boat into a buoy right so no one will run their boat into me all right we're gonna cast way over there on top of those flying fish all right got something didn't even feel a bite it just felt heavy so i pulled on it uh oh now it's fighting definitely heavy whatever it is oh it's a file fish that's why dude <laughs> what is this Ah, this is like my fourth file fish of the day. All right, well, there's our file fish. Very neat. File fish at the surface. Top water file fish. Come on, come on. Top water file fish. Oh, so close. Top water file fish. Oh, God, I'm top water file fish. <laughs> well, there's our top water file fish. All of them have like kind of thick bellies. 
Very neat. Going back. Ooh, straight down. Well, hopefully y'all don't get seasick through the video. Uh, I thought I was gonna get seasick earlier today, but that was just McDonald's lane. I haven't eaten McDonald's in like a year and a half, and I was like, Ugh. But uh, yeah, we caught four new species. Pretty much all the action happened at the beginning of the day. I went back towards the shore, nothing happened there, came back out here, got that foul fish in top water, and then nothing. Then the waves are getting very hectic, as you can see right now. So yeah, maybe about one and a half, two foot swell, not coming from any particular direction. So yeah, we're, we're gonna call it a day. Um, tomorrow, I think we're gonna go back to Peanut Island, or not, yeah, Peanut Island, and try and catch those surgeon fish, parrot fish. There are all sorts of crazy micros as well at Phil Foster Park that we can catch too. So yeah, we're gonna go back and take a look at those. I'll catch y'all then.